Hello everyone, this is Edgar Assad and today I'm going to show you a cylinder tracking tutorial for augmented reality using Wikitude SDK. So let's go into their website and in order to get cylinder tracking SDK you need to apply for beta and you will receive the link to their SDK. Uh, but during the watch of this tutorial it might be that it will be already available to download publicly. So once you get this SDK, which is called Expert Edition, extract Wikitude Unity example from it. So let's rename it to Cylinder Tracking ER Wikitude. Once it's done, we will open up Unity Hub, add this project that we just renamed and select latest unity version and platform android as i'm using windows once the project will open then we will import the assets that we plan to use in this tutorial so the folder i'm importing is called tutorial asset it contains few scripts prefabs, models, and uh, specific shaders that I plan to use. Now let's go into the player settings and remove the C scene files, which is located in seals and scenes and build. And the next thing we're going to do is change the package name. Let's copy it and add it over here. This is important part because if you won't change package name, the license key that I have it just won't work. Open up a sample scene provided by the Wikitude SDK and based on this cylinder tracking scene we will uh, add our own assets to it. So let's copy the license over here to Wikitude license key section, remove the gap at the end and let's save it. Let's save the scene to cylinder AR. Let's add it to the scene in build. The next thing we're going to do is actually create a cylinder tracker itself. By default, it is already created, but I want to show you from scratch how it is done. So from Windows, select Wikidude and Targets Collection Editor. Let's move it to the bottom, like that. And uh, we need to click on Create Zip. And select that uh, tracker image itself, cylinder tracker image, okay? Once it is selected, the zip is created automatically, but within it we need to select the image itself, select target type cylinder and height to 100 and apply. So that's about it, uh, what is related to the tracker creation itself, to be more specific to cylinder tracker creation. And let's uh, select star flower oil. So let's decrease the gizmos to the minimum. In the live preview game object, uh, let's select webcam and select the camera you have connected to your PC. So the next thing is that we're going to add the content to it. I will call it room container. I have already created the prefabs that we, or, or the content that we plan to use in this tutorial. And those prefabs contains already the, the necessary scale, uh, position and rotation. So you will not need to adjust anything more. So what I've added right now is a cylinder, a 3D cylinder object, which is of the same size as the tracker itself. And it is quite con uh, convenient 
to, well, for the purposes that we plan to do now, uh, how we plan to adjust the content and how we are going to view the room inside the cylinder itself. So uh, I've just adjusted some light lighting. And the next thing is that I'm going to add the room walls, which is at the moment are invisible. But keep in mind that each wall contains a specific stencil shader and it contains a specific parameters. So keep, a, keep in mind this. If you will want to make your maybe different room than, than I propose here in this tutorial, or also have the same thing in mind once you, if you plan to add some different uh, content than I do. So, as you can see, this is how we will view the, the room inside the cylinder. At the moment it is empty, but let's add some more content to it. So uh, we're going to add uh, ani three animated models. But before this, take a look at the material and the shader that, uh, that, what it, that is used for, for this material. And also it is important to note that this plane contains uh, a script which is called curve plane. So, okay, uh, we're adding three models, the robot arm and two aliens. And we will add the cloth game object, which is pretty much cloth will go on top of the invisible sphere. Each model contains also a stencil shader and to this shader the textures are applied accordingly. Take a closer, a closer look at all the parameters that st stencil shaders uses. But if you plan to use the same prefabs that I'm showing th in this tutorial, you won't need to adjust any, any parameters that I have set in the pre prefabs. So yeah, pretty much all the content is set to how I want it. We can save it. Create the prefab of the room container, disable it or hide it, and um, drag and drop to the drivable place on the image trackable script. Let's delete the canvas. Minimize the gizmos. And let's check out the result. And as you can see, I have a bottle with the texture applied on top of it. And we see the room inside the bottle. It looks really nice. The cloth, the robot hand, the alien in front and in the back, all the walls. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.